Hello teachers and welcome to this quick security guide on scheduling meetings in Zoom. Let's start by signing into Zoom. Use your ASB Google account to sign in. Once you log in, you will arrive at the upcoming meeting screen. Let's begin by scheduling a new meeting for your classes. Click on schedule a new meeting and type in the name of the class and topic. You can add a short description if you like or leave it blank. You can choose the start date, the start time, duration and time zone of your scheduled meeting. Zoom allows you to schedule meetings with multiple occurrences so that each occurrence uses the same meeting ID and settings. By choosing recurring meetings, you can schedule these meetings in daily, weekly and monthly increments. For your classes, we recommend you use the recurring meeting with no fixed time. So you can use the meeting link at any time. Meeting IDs for recurring meetings expire 365 days after the meeting was last started. The security passcode is enabled by default in Zoom. If you feel that your Zoom link is compromised, then you can change your security passcode. But that does not stop students from sharing the meeting link and security passcode once they receive it. For additional safety, we need to have waiting rooms enabled. With the waiting room enabled, you as a host have the option to allow students into your Zoom room after verifying the identity of the student. In video options, you can turn on video for your host and participants by default. Let's move to meeting options. Make sure enable join before host is unchecked and mute participants on entry is checked. So when students join the class, there is no distraction if they have their mics on. Here is another great feature to have only authenticated users join, which requires users to have a Zoom account to join the call, which means Student must use their ASB Google account or a verified Google account to log into your Zoom room. If you choose this option, you can get an attendance report in Zoom. You can enable breakout rooms or assign students to breakout rooms during your meeting. We recommend you turn on record the meeting automatically on the local computer so it records your Zoom call for our ASB child safety protocol. Once your settings are all done, you can go ahead and save the meeting. You can copy the meeting link to PowerSchool or email it to your students to join the class. You can click Start Meeting once you are ready to begin. This completes our Zoom security guide for scheduling a meeting. Hope you enjoyed the session and please do subscribe to our ASB EdTech channel for more EdTech videos. Thank you.